problem, we have a stage actress who is going to be lowered down at an acceleration of 0 0.66 meters per second square. Okay, now, uh, ang ginagawa dito typically is to use a counterweight and in this case, hindi natin alam kung ano yung mass ng counterweight na yan. So this is actually the first problem uh, which is to solve for the mass of the counterweight so that uh, si Peter Pan ay bababa at an acceleration of 0 0.66 meters per second squared. Ngayon, yung mass ni Peter Pan ay given and it is equal to 50 kilograms. Okay, so this uh, counterweight okay, is uh, on this plane and there's friction between them. Okay? And the friction between them is called kinetic friction or kinetic frictional force because uh, itong mass na ito is moving relative to the plane. Which means na ang coefficient of kinetic friction okay, ay equal sa 0 0.1 which is a given quantity. Now, in order for us to solve yung first problem, which is to, which is to find for the uh, mass of the counterweight, okay, we're going to use uh, Newton's second law of motion. And then, the second question naman dito is also to solve for the tension of the wire. And in that case, we're also going to use Newton's second law of uh, motion. Now, since we have two objects, we're, also, we're going to... Uh, you so Newton's second law of motion separately on each of these objects. So let's uh, do this one first. Una natin gagawin is to identify the forces acting on the object. Okay, ang unang-unang hindi nawawala na force, of course, ay yung acceleration due to, uh, yung force due to gravity, or in other words, yung mass ng counterweight na ito. And since this mass is connected to a rope, we're going to add in yung tension due to the rope okay and since yung mass then i on a surface then it should have a normal force and nabanggit natin kanina na mayroong present na frictional force or kinetic frictional force so dahil yung motion ng mass ay paakyat okay dahil ito ay pababa ibig sabihin yung frictional force na to ay uh, towards this direction which is a uh, uh, co planar or in, uh, or in the same direction as the plane of uh, yung movement ng mass na ito. Okay? Now, sa kay Peter pa naman, medyo madali dito kasi dalawa lang yung forces na nag sa kanya. Yung unang force ay yung kanyang weight at yung pangalawang force ay yung tension. Okay? Which tension on the rope okay, uh, which carries or which pulls uh, Peter, uh, Peter Pan uh, upward. Okay? So now that we have identified forces, ang uh, susunod natin gagawin is to uh, uh, set uh, the direction of the positive uh, x and the positive y axis on both systems. Okay, ang pinakamadali dito is to choose a positive y upward and to choose a positive x towards this uh, direction. Dito naman, ang pinakamadali is to choose a positive y in this orientation and a positive x in this orientation. Okay, bakit? Kasi if we do this, then the normal force will be oriented along the y-axis, this tension will be oriented along the x-axis, and this frictional force will be oriented along the x-axis. Which leaves us with the weight, okay, at yung weight na lang ang kailangan natin i-break down into uh, the x and y components. Okay? Now, Ang gagawin natin dito is to orient ourselves with respect dito sa kung ano tong angle na ito. Okay? So, if this is 50 degrees, ibig sabihin, this is also 50 degrees, and this is, and this angle here is 50 degrees. Okay, kaya 50 degrees ito kasi uh, similar angles are congruent. Okay? So, itong dalawa at saka ito ay similar angle, so uh, they're congruent, which means na pareho silang 50 degrees. Okay, so now that we've identified itong angle na 50 degrees, we can now use uh, Newton's uh, second law or apply Newton's second law. Uh, first of all, dito muna sa uh, small or dun sa counterweight. Okay, so along the x-axis, 
Okay, ano ano yung mga forces? First, you have tension. Okay, and then you have the kinetic frictional force. And then you have the component of the weight okay, along the x-axis, which in this case is mg sine 50 degrees. Okay, ngayon equal to sa mass times acceleration along the x-axis. Mamaya, define natin kung ano itong acceleration along the x-axis. Next, we're going to identify naman yung forces along the y-axis. Okay, and very quickly, we can see that it's n minus mg uh, cosine ng 50 degrees, which is yung component ng weight along the y-axis. And dahil wala ka namang motion along the y-axis, this should be equal to zero, which means na n is equal to mg cosine 50 degrees. And also, since fk is equal to mu sub k times n by definition, we have mu, uh, fk equals to mu sub k mg cosine ng 50 degrees. Okay, now we can replace fk dito so that we get, sorry, okay, tm equals a uh, mu sub k times uh, mg cosine 50 degrees plus mg mg sine 50 degrees. Okay? Now, let's take a look at yung uh, forces acting on Peter Pan. So, along the x-axis, makikita natin na walang forces na present, so this should be zero. And along the y-axis, ang forces ay yung tension at saka yung kanyang weight, okay, which is, uh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, equal dapat yan sa uh, mass times acceleration, in this case, along the y-axis. Ngayon, ano itong acceleration along the y-axis? Sinabi natin kanina na siya ay kailangang i-lower okay, at a rate of 0 0.66 meters per second squared. And since ito yung pinili natin direction ng positive y, ibig sabihin, ang acceleration na ito ay dapat negative. So, ang lalagay natin dito dapat later on ay negative 0 0.66 meters per uh, second squared. Okay? Okay. So, ano nang uh, gagawin natin dito? Now, let's take a look at these two variables or two variables which are uh, attributed to tension. Ang tanong is if, those, if these two tensions are equal to each other. And the answer is, yes, they are equal due to Newton's third law of motion. Okay, lalagay na natin dito para hindi nyo makalimutan. Okay, so Tp ay equal sa Tm due to the third law of mo, uh, motion ni Newton. Okay, ay, ang, ang idea is, since hinihila ni Peter Pan yung mass m na ito, ang reaction force is that yung mass m na ito ay hinihila naman si uh, Peter Pan. Okay? So since these two are equal, we can now relate uh, these two equations. Okay? So from here, we get Tp equals sa Mpg okay, plus Nay. Okay? And then equal yan dun sa equation na yan. So we have uh, Mpg plus Nay equals. Okay, factoring out Mg, we have Mg. Okay, sorry, dapat ito ay mayroong uh, P to indicate na mass yun ni Peter Pan. Okay, times mu sub K cosine ng 50 degrees plus sine ng 50 degrees. Okay. Remember, ang sinasolve natin dito ay itong mass m na ito. Okay. So, uh, if we isolate yung mass m na yon, ang makukuha natin ay np times g plus ay. Okay. Remember na ang ay is negative 0 0.66 meters per second squared. Okay. Divided by mu sub k times uh, cosine ng 50 degrees plus 
sine ng 50 degrees, okay, lahat yan ay multiplied by g. Okay, after uh, plugging in yung known quantities, okay, we get for the mass m uh, to be equal to 52 kilograms. Okay, now that we know mass m, the next step is to solve for the tension. Okay, and since na-establish na natin kanina na itong dalawa na ito, okay, ay equal lang sa isa't isa, then we can use either the equation. So, it, I bet, uh, I think it's easier to use this equation. So, we use this equation to solve for the tension. So, we have Tp is equal to Mp times G plus Ay. Okay, so, equal ngayon yan sa 460 newtons after plugging in the uh, known uh, values. Okay? So, now we know na ang kailangan ng mass para ma-achieve yung ganitong acceleration at maibaba si Peter Pan uh, slowly should be equal to 52 kilograms and dapat yung rope then should be able to carry a weight of at least or uh, a force of at least 460 uh, newtons.